well. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Sorry I was listening to my GPS. It's uh <laughs> When I'm sitting at my house and I turn on the GPS, it tells me to come to this, every time it tells me to come to this street. It always says, go west on your street and turn left on the next street, on the, you know, on this street. Then today, as I pull out of the driveway, going left or going up my street to that street it told me to flip a Yui and go back the other way because it decided it wanted me to go a different direction today <laughs> and it kept telling me to make a U a U-turn then when I turned left it tried to tell me to turn left on the next street and go down to Park Drive and make a right which would put me right on this street, and then I would have to turn right again. I really don't understand what's going on with all these GPS units. Uh, I did figure something out though. Every single GPS app on your phone is run by Google Maps. Google Maps is the one I'm having a problem with. But since every single GPS app uses Google Maps, they're basically just an app to get to Google Maps, a second port to get to Google Maps, it's bullshit. It's the same thing, you're still using Google Maps, so I just got rid of the apps, and I'm just using Google Maps, which screws me up all the time, but what I need to do is get an actual, real, live, true GPS that has Bluetooth so I can hear it through my speakers. That's what I really need to do. But they're very, very expensive and I can't afford that. So I just have to deal with this shitty Google app, Google Maps, for now. So I'm sorry about the last video. Uh, I had the mic volume turned up just a little too high and it sounded a little washed out at times. Not terrible, not horrific, but a little washed out at times. And I apologize for that because normally I'm very good at making sure my microphone is set properly, but I've been riding the Goldwing for so long and I can actually increase the mic volume on it a little, on this camera a little bit so as not to have to yell so loud and so as not to have to volume it up more than once in editing but I forgot all about that when I started riding this bike again so it got a little washed out on me but that won't happen again because now I've got it set correctly for this bike and since this is the only bike I'll be riding from now on, I will never have to adjust the microphone again. How cool is that? Alright, so I'm headed to Magna to do a job. It's early morning, I'm sure you can see the sun is directly behind me. I'm heading to Magna to do a windshield repair this morning. And then I have like two more appointments I have to get to. But then after that, I have nothing to do. So I have to go beg for work. So one of the reasons I was so upset about losing the Goldwing is because I've been paying for ads for almost a year now. And I'm still not getting calls. I still have to go out and go business to business, handing out business cards and asking people if they need a windshield repair. And I have to do that every single day. 
I get a couple of appointments per day, and the rest of the time, I'm literally out begging for work. Literally. That's what it feels like. It feels like I have to go out and beg for work. And it's very aggravating to spend that much money on advertising and still have to go out and beg for work. Now we've got a hell of a wind, southern wind blowing today, and I'm already feeling the difference between this bike and the gold wing. It's not a big deal. I can ride anything. I mean, hell, I've been riding my whole life. I don't particularly like the, this, the way this bike handles the wind. But like I've said before, if it's all I have, I can deal with it. But for a year and a half, it wasn't all I had. So I had the option of riding the Goldwing that handled the wind very well. And I really, I'm sad that it's going away, but at the same time, or I'm sad that it's gone, but at the same time, at least I still have a bike, you know? At least I can still ride, and now maybe I'll have a chance to go out and play in the dirt. I don't know yet. But we're going to find out. Right now, I can't do that because I'm just trying to get bills paid. Oh, I smell propane. Somebody's leaking propane. So, I love this bike. I don't care for it in the wind much, but I do love this bike. And I know you guys didn't think I really cared about this bike much because I was riding the Goldwing so much. <laughs> but the Goldwing was just a very comfortable, very nice... You'd understand if you ever rode one. <laughs> put it that way. If you ever rode a Goldwing, you'd know exactly what I was talking about. So I need to get a box or something that I can put on the rack on the, on the back of this bike that I can use occasionally. Um, because right now the way things are I don't have any other vehicle yet and I still need to go grocery shopping but my boxes my panniers are full of work products that I just leave in the boxes because I don't see any sense in packing that shit in and out of the house every day I need to come up with a box or a crate or something that I can put on that rack on the back that I can use when I go grocery shopping. I don't buy a lot of groceries at one time, but I buy too many groceries to hang on the damn handlebars. I've done that in the past and it's not very safe not something you should be doing. Oh, for a, you know, a quick, short distance, it's fine. But it's not something you want to do with a lot of groceries, you know. If I have a couple of small things in a bag, it's fine. Not something I want to do with 40 or 50 pounds of groceries. Do not want to hang those on the handlebar. So anyway, 
I got to get out here and get this windshield repair done this morning. I have another appointment in a little bit. But I'm actually... Wow, am I really that? This clock is about 10 minutes slow. 12 minutes slow. The clock on the dashboard is 12 minutes slow. Wow. I should probably correct that. That's something I might want to consider doing because the bike sat for a while and I'm sure the battery got a little bit weak. Not terrible because it fired right up, no problem. But, you know, this bike sat most of the winter and then it also sat all through the spring. I mean, it just... I haven't really ridden it much. But now it's going to be my sole um, sole means of transportation. <laughs> my sole means of transportation. Well, I need to be in this other lane over here because My GPS is trying to tell me to do some shit, and I don't want to yet. I got somewhere else to go first. I'm about 15 minutes early getting to the job site, and I want to run over here to the SEV. I want to run over here to the SEV. That's what we call it here. We call it the SEV. <laughs> I'm sure they call it that somewhere else too. I'm sure we're not the only ones that call 7-Eleven the Sev. In fact, here in Utah, we probably, somebody probably heard that some other state or somewhere else and brought it to Utah because, uh, you know, here in Utah, people aren't really that creative when it comes to uh, naming stuff. All right, I'm at the Sev. <laughs> I got to run in here real quick and get some power aids. I forgot to go to Walmart this morning, so here we are. All right, stick with me. Uh, you know, hit the subscribe button, click the like button, all that happy shit, and I'll see you in my next video.